hi everybody so welcome back to my channel once again i hope you are doing very very well so guess what i have for you moringa seed board i was pleasantly surprised when i went to my local shop and i saw these and this is a shop i've been in several times but never thought to go to the back and see what they have they had like tropical fruits and vegetables and i was so surprised to see moringa seed pod there i don't know how to cook it i mean i never knew how to cook this until i bought it okay so I have never prepped this or cooked it before. Um, so I asked the lady in the shop how to and she explained it very well to me. So I decided to come on here and share it with you all. So when you buy it, just wash it very well. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to try to uh, peel out the outside layer of the, um, of the pod. All right. So kind of like cut it halfway through and then you break it. All right. And then you try to remove the outside layer like I'm doing so. This is not organic or it wasn't labeled as organic or anything. So I'm just trying to be extra, you know, um, just in case. So I tried to peel off as much of the outside layer off as possible. Um, if it was organic, you probably wouldn't have to peel it as much as I have done here. Um, yeah, so go ahead and uh, peel the outside layer as much as you can. And then um, that's it, really. Now with this, you can literally just cook with it. I prefer to put it in stews and soups and things like that. So that it can get all the flavors of whatever you're cooking it with. It tastes much better like that than just cooking it on its own really. I have a video on health benefits of Moringa. So you guys please do check that out. Okay. So um, I'm going to link that video by the way at the end of this video. So this is what the inside looks like. As you can see, uh, there's quite a lot of uh, seeds in there, uh, very young uh, seeds. And uh, that white fleshy part is the part that goes really soft with the seeds. And that's the part that you eat. So basically, all the outside layers, they uh, taste very tough and chewy. So you don't eat that part. Um, yeah, so once you finish prepping uh, the part, you can obviously cut it the way you like and you're gonna freeze it. You can put it in your fridge, obviously, and use it quickly, or you freeze it, and you can use it at least a couple of months or so. Put it in your freezer bag or anything you like, really, and then put it in your freezer. So this is the frozen one that I'm actually cooking. I would just wanna show you uh, what the inside part looks like after you cook it, all right? So it takes about three to four minutes to cook uh, on a medium heat or so, and um, I usually add salt right at the end. Most of the time, actually, I do just cook it with, with my other foods. You know, I don't really cook it separately. So that's the uh, pods cooked. Um, so I'm going to open the inside and I'm going to show you what the inside also looks like. When you open it, um, the inside part, it goes really nice and soft. And this including the seed. To me, it, it, the seeds actually taste quite mild um, compared to the dried seeds. All right. And it just tastes like a vegetable, really. <laughs> um, and it, it it has like a little kind of like a sweetness to it just a little bit kind of sweet part to it and that's what it looks like so um next time when you see moringa part in your shop um well don't shy away from me now that you know how to perfect give it a try and uh happy new year to you all i will see you all in the next one thanks for watching bye